Hello and welcome. My name is Shiti Jagrawal. You are watching Innovate. So let's start. In this project, I am going to show you my paint which I created in C++. So let's start. First of all, I am going to open my project file. Then let's look at it output first. So as you can see, our paint is just started. So let's explore it. So let's draw some shapes. Let's draw a rectangle. By this, you can draw a rectangle. So let's draw it over here. Let's draw a circle. We can draw a circle in this way. We can reduce, increase the size. Let's draw it over here. We can draw the lines like this. We have a line. Let's change the color and draw ellipse. We have our ellipse in our blue color. Let's draw some field circle, mini field circle. I name it. So let's draw them. As you can see, we have those. Let's draw some dots in yellow color like this. So these are all our shapes. Now let's try to fill these shapes. To fill the shape, we have our fill function. Just click on F and select the color and click on shape. That's it. Shape is get filled. So let's fill the other two as well. For that, let's use yellow and then white. As you can see, shape to get filled. So now what if I want to erase these dots and that circle line like thing? So for that, we have our eraser. Just click on this E and we have our eraser, as you can see. But the size of eraser is too much. I want to reduce the size of eraser. So how can I do that? So for that, we have this next option. Just click over here and reduce the size. As you can see, three, we have teeny tiny eraser, as you can see. So, Let's increase the size at least 17. Okay, let's erase all of this. Okay, we're done with it. Now, what if I want to add some text over that shape? How can I do that? For that, we have text option. So just click on text option, select whatever color you like. Let's select yellow, then type the text. Let's type in a way and just click. And as you can see, our text is over there. What if, we, I, what if I want to change the font of that text? For that, just click over here. Next, we have changed our font. Just select the font, whatever you like. Let's use some bold font like this. Okay, that one is good. Now click on text option, select the color. I want this one and type the text, enter and click. As you can see, our text is drawn over that shape. So that's how simple it is to draw text, draw shapes, fill color, erase and other stuff super easy so what if i want to save this as an image how can i do that or what if if i want to save a logo from here and i want to use it in program so for that we have save logo feature i created this project mainly focusing on uh, mainly focusing on uh, logo part because in uh, bitmap method we have to add each and every pixel information manually in that two dimensional array as I shown you earlier in my last video. So to avoid that thing, I created this one. Just create the shape, save the logo and use it in your program whenever and wherever you want like that. So let's look at that functionality. So I'm going to save this logo by clicking save logo. Let's give it name a dot ppm enter click on two borders 
done and as you can see our logo is get saved now let's clear the screen so that our a saved logo can be open for clear visibility i am doing that so let's open a dot ppm enter and as you can see our logo get open in front of you so in your mind you may have a question like i am only going to see this logo in this software is it true no it is not you can see this image inside your image viewer as well in your operating system but the thing is that windows does not open dot ppm extinction file directly in your explorer in, but ubuntu do open dot ppm file into a, into your file explorer so that is most important difference between those two operating system in case of that dot ppm file and to open this logo file in your windows we have to use uh, softwares like photoshop or we say uh, inkspace in uh, in this case i am going to use inkspace so let's move towards the inkspace and open this file i am switching my screen to inkspace we have it is it visible yeah it is visible let's open that file as you can see i am in bin folder and here is our a file open okay and as you can see we have our file that's how simple it is to create the logo inside that software now let's look at to save the window i am going to switch my screen back to our software let's draw something over here some rectangles like this let's fill them by color means we have some differences to observe like this circle okay we draw some shape now let's save this whole window just click on save window w dot ppm click on enter and it's going to save the whole window done whole window is saved now let's open this window inside an ink space i am again switching my workspace to ink space let's open that file open as you can see w is appear over here let's open this okay so as you can see our window gets saved and it is in front of you in image format that's it so we saved the image we save logo we open logo and image both we draw the shape fill the color and add the text over there so that's how our software works now let's look at about developer oh i forgot to switch my screen over here then let's do it now once again about developer so that's it if you like this video do like and share with your friends and thank you for watching i will see you next time goodbye